Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we'll be looking at the Toyota Crown Signia. This is basically a modern station wagon. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Crown. This particular one is available for sale, so if you're interested, link to their website in the description down below. Link to my car buying guide as well. Let's get into it. Powering this is a 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid paired to an ECVT. Now, fuel economy with this is 39 around town and then 37 on the highway. Power outputs combined are 240 horsepower. Now, before I move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, starting with the front end, I actually think it looks really cool. It is definitely unique, that's for sure. So. Taking a look at the hood, you've got kind of like these sharp line things happening here. The headlights are very, or not the headlights, but rather the accent lights are very reminiscent of the new Prius. You can see the lighting element down below, which is kind of interesting with the split light design. And then this is kind of funky with it being body painted, but then it also kind of like has like a spiderweb type design. I don't know. This is a weird looking car, but it also <laughs> looks cool. Tire wheel setup is 235 by 45 by 21 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you got the metallic gray and really cool with the spoke design. Now notice that that is all painted black to match the bodywork there on the front end. And then it continues along the side here as well. Same thing with the mirror caps. You do get a little bit of chrome trim there. And then here's the side profile where you can see that station wagon appearance. This leads us to the key fob where we have our lock and unlock opening for the hatch. Pretty normal setup. It says crown there on the back, which is pretty cool. Popping into the rear, very spacious again, just like an old school station wagon. You get, well, what we'd call SUV practicality in modern terms, but easier to access because this is lower to the ground, cargo cover and all. And then if you're wondering underneath, that's a fancy handle. Yeah, not a lot happening underneath. Not a lot happening underneath. Those are nice on either side. When you're all done, just press that and that will lower the hatch right back down. I like the tail lights here. I think those are pretty sharp looking. And then notice it's painted black all at the bottom and well, it's the rest of the rear. And then this leads us inside. So uh, it's actually soft touch here at the very top and then also down below very Lexus like with this interior I mean, look at this trim for example you can see with the heated seat control there yeah I mean these seats are straight out of the Lexus <laughs> it's interesting how Toyota's been doing that with some of their cars uh, legroom back here is good got a storage pocket we've got some vents here in the back USB ports as well and then this is cool with the uh, sunroof but it does take up a little bit of headroom but it's not bad now this leads us up front, where again, we've got more soft touch trim all over the door panel. Memory seat function, all of our window controls here. Uh, the mirrors do power fold in. Blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. Then here's the front seat, perforated all down the center portion. Adjustments there on the side. And then you guys can see here with some of the controls for the lights and everything. Nice trim all around the steering wheel. You actually get paddle shifters here on the back. Bunch of practical controls in the front, including adaptive cruise control. This also has lane centering, which is a really nice feature. We've got our volume and voice command controls built into the steering wheel as well. Some controls there for the center gauge cluster. Traditional stocks with this. Toyota always keeps that simple. And then yeah, we've got this digital gauge cluster. Here's kind of like real world glare a little bit. Um, so it's pretty customizable. I have this uh, unit in my new to me Land Cruiser because I bought mine used. And you know, it's a really easy system to use overall. You do kind of have to dive into menus for different functions, which can be a little bit cumbersome, but once you get used to it, and once you have your screen set up here in the center, it's not too bad. Drive modes here, as you can see, pretty cool setup. Got a nice 360 camera system with this Toyota's modern camera resolution is actually pretty darn good. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, 
yeah, not too bad. And it's pretty quick to respond. Now they do give you physical controls for the heated ventilated seats, also for the heated steering wheel, and for the climate control, so it's nice that this is kind of all built into that little section right there. And there is more nice trim on the dash down below as well. It's a, whoa, pretty small glove box actually, surprisingly. I'm gonna try, <laughs> no. I will regret this for the rest of my life. Anyways, we've got our wireless phone charging pad here, and then we've got some USB fun. You can see here with the shifter there for the ECVT. Drive mode select behind that, and then you got like your auto hold, EV mode, stability control, parking brake as well, and just more storage here. This is cool with the center console. Opens up both sides. This also has a camera rear view mirror, and then we've got that big center foot pump. So here's our window sticker for this crown, and you can see we do have a few options added to it. The advanced tech package is most expensive. 52,444 is the total MSRP. Hybrid station wagon. Let's see how it performs. Well, let us set off in the crown signia. Visibility, by the way. Throughout the back, not the best, but the camera rear view mirror fixes that. So, good to go there. And I already reviewed one of these XLE. I wanted to review the Limited to see just how fancy it is. And, well, it is fancy. Interesting. I haven't seen that before. It must be a... Huh. Got the uh, Twitter Racing Development, like, three colors there on it so hmm. interesting but yeah this is the coolest powertrain that you can uh, put in a car like this I'm just kidding I know you could put like a crazy V8 or something but Toyota's hybrid this 2.5 is a really nice engine uh, first off got good power it's very economical as well I mean this thing gets almost 40 miles per gallon and I mean one way you could look at this is it's like a RAV4 that's lower to the ground and you know it's not exactly an incorrect observation yeah suspension is really comfortable too but yeah the power is great and, and you can see it's pretty windy today Good noise insulation. This is nice. This drives more like a luxury car, especially when you compare it to some other Toyota models at this price point. Like if, if you did like a loaded up Corolla Cross or, well, sorry, not this price point. That's not this price point, brain fart. Loaded up, like super loaded up RAV4, or if you did a, I mean, what else would be kind of in this range? I guess you're like in the Highlander range, almost. And I wouldn't say that this is more luxe than a Highlander. I'd say it's pretty, pretty similar. Interesting thought there, very interesting. But either way, it drives very nice, nice. It's just comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. So, getting some things up with this I think that if you're looking for basically a modern station wagon that's what this provides and it's <clears throat> geez I am losing my voice <clears throat> and it <clears throat> it does it in a way where it gives you a bunch of modern amenities drives really well and it, it does look a little bit funky. Oh, now my voice is back, kind of. It does look a little bit funky. But it's not bad, overall. I like it. I think the biggest thing going against this is just the price point that it's at. I think that <clears throat> people are going to look at this and go, well, I'd rather get a Highlander because I get three rows. And I'm higher up off the ground, right? So I think it's going to be a hard sell for some people getting a smaller vehicle lower to the ground at this price point. 
that's the biggest thing going against station wagon type cars is not a lot of people care about the oh my gosh <clears throat> let's try to make it through the review uh people don't care about the handling anymore as much they kind of care more about um practicality which right practicality is very very important i want to take a peek at this tundra see what this is all about but anyways let me guys think about the crown signia limited but if you want a lexus station wagon that's what this is